हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अफेयर्स क्लाउड माय नेम इज विकास सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव एन एप्लीकेशन बाय द नेम कैरियर्स क्लाउड विच यू कैन गो एंड डाउनलोड थ्रू द प्ले स्टोर एंड वंस यू हैव डाउनलोडेड यू कैन लॉग इन विद योर जीमेल आईडी एंड व्हाई आई एम सजेस्टिंग यू दिस एप्लीकेशन बिकॉज दिस इज द वन स्टॉप सोल्यूशन फॉर ऑल द करंट अफेयर दिस इज द बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट एप्लीकेशन एंड द प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू कैन एनहेंस योर लर्निंग थ्रू हेल्प here you will be provided with multiple courses here you will be provided with multiple options of quizzes and even you here you will be provided current affairs on daily basis pdfs and quizzes will be provided to you on daily basis both in hindi as well as english here you will be provided current affairs with weekly basis and monthly basis also here remember once you have done watching our video then you can log in through this application take out the pdf read that pdf and go through the quizzes that will enhance your preparation same you have to do for weekly and same you have to do for the monthly also in monthly you will be provided with the top 100 important questions pdf and video also that will enhance your learning and it will be a very benefit and beneficial and important video for the revision perspective and not just this friends apart from this we also provide you banking and economic questions we provide you state current affairs such as of uttarakhand up tripura telangana and many more not just this apart from this we also provide you topic wise current affairs and the topics that we are providing you are really important these topics are such as national affairs international affairs important days sports defense science and technology apps and web portals obviously these are the important topics that are being asked in various exams across india so these are the topics that are must and should be covered and will be beneficial for the preparation of the students so such friends i'll highly suggest you to watch our video as they will be very beneficial for you in the long hello everyone how are you all i hope you are all good so students in this video we will be discussing important current affairs of 17th of may The session will be very important and helpful for all the government aspirants so do watch this video till the end. Let's start. The first question is which state became the first Indian state to launch welfare fund for workers under Manrega. Correct? I repeat. Which state became the first state in India to launch a welfare fund for the workers that comes under manrega manrega is your mahatma gandhi ruler employment guarantee scheme correct and remember which is the state it is your kerala that became the first state to launch a welfare fund for the manrega workers this initiative was launched by the chief minister of kerala pinrai vijayan correct and the fund is based upon kerala's employment guarantee workers welfare fund act of 2021 the ayankali urban employment guarantee scheme workers will also be a part of this fund under this the workers who have completed the age of 60 will be entitled for pension which will also provide financial assistance for medical treatment education marriage among other benefits under this the worker needs to pay a nominal monthly amount of 50 rupees as contribution to the fund and the government will also contributed an equal amount in the say correct eligibility for the membership includes being between 18 to 55 years of age for this and having engaged in unskilled work for at least 20 days in the year of application or any year in the two years immediately preceding the same correct almost 27 lakh people in kerala are depend on the manrega and at least 90% of the work jobs are under the scheme in kerala goes to women so coming back which state launched a welfare fund for workers under manrega it is your kerala here you can see kerala became first state to launch welfare fund for workers under manrega next government to develop indian carbon market ministry of petroleum ministry of environment forest and climate change plans to develop carbon credit trading scheme right i repeat union government plans to develop a indian carbon market where a national framework will be established 
to decarbonize the indian economy by pricing the greenhouse gas emissions through trading correct the carbon trade uh, this carbon credit trading scheme comes under the ministry of power along with the ministry of forest climate and uh, forest and climate change and they are developing the carbon credit trading scheme for this icm that is your indian carbon market and i have told you and yesterday also in the weekly session i told you that now you will be seeing that the upcoming project be it infrastructure projects be it service projects or any new campaigns they will be focusing towards environment right they will be focusing towards making our environment clean they will be making efforts towards sustainable development goals all right and this will basically create awareness among the people about the environment and also to work towards environment only correct here this icm that is your indian carbon market this will enable the creation of a competitive market that would provide incentives to climate actors to adopt low cost options by attracting technology and finance towards sustainable projects that generate carbon credits correct and we know what is the target of india to become carbon neutral the target of india to become carbon neutral is 2070 right moving on next which ministry prepared a model prisons act 2023 to replace the existing british era law it is your ministry of home affairs they have prepared a model prisons act 2023 that will replace the prisons act of 1894 a 130 year old british era law this is to overhaul the prison administration that will focus on the reformation and rehabilitation of inmates the decision was taken under the leadership of prime minister narendra modi and the guidance of union minister amit shah apart from the prisons act of 1894 Ministry of Home Affairs also reviewed the Prisons Act of 1900 and the Transfer of Prisons Act of 1950 by taking relevant provisions of these acts and assimilating them into Model Prisons Acts of 2023. Correct. Next, next is IIP's 57th Foundation Day and IIP signed MOU with various institutions. Now, what is IIP? IIP stands for your Indian Institute of packaging correct this is in mumbai maharashtra and they have recently signed a memorandum of understanding to collaborate with various prestigious institutions universities government bodies on the occasion of the 57th foundation day of indian institute of packaging correct this was celebrated at hotel the lalit in andheri mumbai maharashtra here iip signed various mous with various institutions including the bihar agriculture university the national institute of food technology entrepreneurship and management this is in sonipat haryana then the national food institute of food technology entrepreneurship and management in thanjavur tamil nadu so various mous has been signed here by indian institute of packaging correct next next is for banking and finance nse that is your national stock exchange of india limited they have launched a rupee denominated new york mex that is your new york mercantile exchange west texas intermediate crude oil and natural gas future contracts in their commodity derivative segment i repeat it is your nse india they have launched this oil crude oil and natural gas future contracts in the commodity derivative segment correct so we can directly say option will be given that who launched this new york mercantile uh, new york mercantile exchange west trade intermediate crude oil and natural gas futures contract they were launched by nse correct also remember the benefit of this contracts will be the sustainable for fpis all right these new york mercantile exchange wti contracts they will be suitable for foreign portfolio investors to get the benefit of margin collateral from their cash holdings in nse to trade in these commodity derivative contracts 
करेक्ट दीज क्रूड ऑयल एंड नेचुरल गैस कॉन्ट्रैक्ट आर अमंग द वर्ल्ड मोस्ट ट्रेडेड कॉम्बिनेटिव डेरिवेटिव कॉन्ट्रैक्ट जनरेटिंग इंटरेस्ट फ्रॉम अक्रॉस द ग्लोब देन इफ यू टॉक अबाउट एन एस सी इट वॉज इनकॉर्पोरेटेड इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी टू एंड हेयर एम डी एंड सीईओ विल बी आशीष कुमार चौहान हेडक्वार्टर हेयर विल बी इन मुंबई महाराष्ट्र राइट so it is ns india who launched this rupee denominated new york mercantile exchange west texas intermediate crude oil and natural gas future contracts next irdai directs the insurers to provide full insurance coverage under the surrogacy art act right i repeat irdai that is your insurance regulatory and development authority of india has directed all the insurance providers and the companies that they will have to pay full coverage for surrogate mothers and the donors who provide for the same correct according to the act of the surrogacy regulation act of 2021 the intending women or couple should purchase a 3 year health insurance from an insurance company or an agent recognized by irdi for the surrogate mothers the insurance coverage should be for an amount sufficient to cover all the expenses for all complications arising out of pregnancy and also cover post mortem delivery complications now what is this art act of 2021 the article has stipulated insurance coverage for 12 months from an insurance company or an agent recognized by the irdi in favor of the octi donor by the commissioning couple right moving on which organization granted which organization granted 51 crore rupees to set up integrated road safety enforcement system in shimla noorpur i repeat it will be your world bank this organization has granted 51 crore rupees to set up integrated road safety enforcement system in shimla noorpur correct and they are in where these are the two shimla and noorpur police districts of himachal pradesh where is shimla it is in himachal pradesh correct then remember under this various ai powered cameras intelligent traffic management system then rescue equipments then you will be seeing various control rooms in that and also the funds will be allocated for patrol vehicles and intelligent traffic management system correct next if we talk about world bank who is the current president now or who will be the 14th president now ajay banga headquarters is in washington dc and it was established in 1944 world bank so you can see world bank granted 51 crore rupees to set up integrated road safety enforcement system in shimla noorpur that is in himachal pradesh then bsc relaunches the sensex and bankx derivative contracts i repeat bsc that was earlier known as bombay stock exchange that is the asia's oldest stock exchange relaunched the sensex and bankx derivative contracts in its bid to boost derivative trading at india's premier bourse the relaunch of this contract derivatives comes with a reduced lot of reduced lot size of futures and options and a new expiry cycle of friday from thursday that was earlier right that was earlier the expiry of these future contracts or option trading was thursday and now it is friday on this bsc the lot size of futures and option has also been reduced from and also has been reduced from 15 to 10 for sensex and from 20 to 15 in the case of bank x it evoked a good response from the market participants and nearly 100 members participated in trading with a total turnover of 53 crore rupees with an open interest of 252 lots correct next next is acc not acc it is acc that is your appointment committee of the cabinet has approved the appointment of whom as the chairperson of cci so remember ravneet kaur 
रवनीत कौर हैज बिन अपॉइंटेड एज द न्यू चेयरपर्सन ऑफ सी सी आई दैट इज योर कॉम्पिटिशन कमीशन ऑफ इंडिया करेक्ट रवनीत कौर शी इज अ नाइनटीन एटी एट बैच पंजाब कैडर आई ए एस ऑफिसर एंड शी हैज बिन अपॉइंटेड एज द चेयरपर्सन ऑफ सी सी आई सी एस शी हैज बिन अपॉइंटेड फॉर अ पीरियड ऑफ फाइव ईयर्स विद इफेक्ट फ्रॉम द डेट ऑफ अज्यूजिंग द चार्ज और टिल द डेट ऑफ अटेनिंग द एज ऑफ सिक्सटी फाइव करेक्ट एंड रवनीत कौर बिकेम द फर्स्ट वीमेन एंड नॉन सेक्रेटरी ब्यूरोट टू बी अपॉइंटेड एज द चेयरपर्सन ऑफ सी सी आई शी विल रिप्लेस होम शी विल बी रिप्लेसिंग संगीता वर्मा राइट शी विल रिप्लेस होम शी विल रिप्लेस संगीता वर्मा सो रिमेंबर दिस ऑल्सो नेक्स्ट यू कैन सी शी इज रवनीत कौर एंड शी हैज बिन अपॉइंटेड एज द न्यू चेयरपर्सन ऑफ सी सी आई नेक्स्ट हु हैज बिन अपॉइंटेड एज द न्यू चेयरपर्सन ऑफ पी एन जी आर बी दैट इज योर पेट्रोलियम एंड नेचुरल गैस रेगुलेटरी बोर्ड ही विल बी इन दिस पीरियड फॉर फाइव ईयर्स हु ही विल बी ए के जैन दैट इज योर अनिल कुमार जैन करेक्ट and he has been appointed here for a post uh, for a period of 5 years and he will be replacing not replacing actually because this position was of petro chairman of petroleum and natural gas regulatory board was vacant since 4th of december 2020 since dinesh kumar saraf has vacated and he retired so now he will be the new chairman anil kumar jain will be the new chairman of the vacant seat of pngrb Anil Kumar Jain is a 1986 batch IAS officer from Madhya Pradesh cadre. Next Next is here you can see ACC appointed Anil Kumar Jain as the new chairman. Next comes Amy Pop of USA elected as the first women director general of UN's IOM that is your International Organization for Migration. we know the migration is increasing the people from the affected areas such as ukraine sudan syria afghanistan iran we are seeing the a large number of migration from this place and a report was also released yesterday a uh, few days back and we have discussed it that the number of migration will keep on increasing as we go ahead right so coming back amy pope she is 49 years of age she is from usa and she has been elected as the first women director general of the international organization for migration the un migration agency correct she will take as the 11th director general of this international organization for migration for a period of 5 years beginning from 1st of october 2023 moving on next is science and technology IDEX signed the 250th contract and the first under the mission def space and 100th sprint navy contract in new delhi idex that is your innovation for defense excellence this is the flagship initiative of ministry of defense and they have signed the 250th contract recently correct and this 250th contract was with thane based in in space city space laboratories private limited and also a 100th sprint navy contract was signed with pune based pune maharashtra based siliconia technologies private limited in new delhi so we can say 250th contract was with your in uh, in space city space laboratories private limited and the 100th sprint navy contract was with pune maharashtra based siliconia private uh, technologies private limited correct next next is vast and spacex they partnered to launch the first commercial space station i repeat vast this is a california based space startup and they have announced their plan to launch the world's first commercial space station that will be called heaven one all right that will be called heaven one and it is planned to launch the using the spacex falcon 9 rocket to low earth orbit as soon as by august 
right this we will talk about this heaven one heaven one was basically initially act as an independent crude space station before connecting as a module to a large vast space station currently in orbit then if we talk about it the first station heaven one of vast featuring artificial gravity powered by rotational velocity and initially heaven one is intended to operate on its own but will eventually became one module in a large vast station and it can stimulate the moon's gravity by spinning correct next next is we are talking about obituary american economist and nobel laureate robert e lucas junior has passed away all right as you can see him in the picture he was a nobel prize winner in economics and he passed away and he won this nobel prize in 1995 moving on when do we observe national dengue day national dengue day is observed on 16th of may it is to create awareness about the dengue among general public and to promote the preventive measures against dengue this day is observed by which ministry ministry of health and family welfare correct so here you can say national dengue day on 16th of may next day is when do we observe international day of living together in peace this day is observed on 16th of may and it is to promote peace tolerance inclusion understanding and solidarity moving on next is when do we observe international day of light this day is also observed on 16th of may and it is to basically create awareness about the culture about light in science about art education sustainable development and in the field of medicines communication and energy too right in 2023 this was the 6th edition of international day of light and the first ever edition was observed in 2018 <coughs> next is state news andhra pradesh chief minister has launched or andhra pradesh minister of revenue not chief minister andhra pradesh minister of revenue dharmana prasad rao launched each its application to regulate the funds through online transaction i repeat question can be asked that each it was launched by whom each it was launched by andhra pradesh correct and this development comes during the increasing number of cases of cheating of customers by chit fund companies it will provide transparency in the chit fund business and prevent duping of the customers right and the main aim of this application was to make to ensure better regulation of the chit fund business in andhra pradesh next is himachal pradesh chief minister launched him care scheme for jail inmates in order to provide him care scheme to the jail inmates who which state launched it it was launched by the chief minister of himachal pradesh it is basically to provide better medical facilities to the people of a uh, people in jail right this him care scheme was launched also to integrate the campaign against sexual transmitted infections against hiv tb hepatitis in prisons and other close settings in the kannada jail right so it was launched by himachal pradesh chief minister next so friends these are your these were your important current affairs now let's go for a quick revision kerala became the first indian state to launch a welfare fund for workers under manrega government to develop government to develop indian carbon market and here we will see various carbon trading schemes will also be launched ministry of home affairs have prepared a model prison act of 2023 to replace the existing british era law iip's 57th foundation day was held and iip signed various mous and with various institutions nsc launched nsc india launched a rupee denominated new york mercantile exchange wti crude oil and natural gas future contracts and these are one of the most traded future contracts in the world irdi directs the insurance to provide insurers to provide full insurance coverage under the surrogacy art act World Bank granted 51 crore rupees to set up integrated road safety enforcement system in Shimla Noorpur. 
दैट इज इन हिमाचल प्रदेश बी एस सी रिलॉन्च द सेंसेक्स एंड बैंक एक्स डेरीवेटिव कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ए सी सी अप्रूव द अपॉइंटमेंट ऑफ रवनीत कौर एज द चेयरपर्सन ऑफ सी सी आई ए सी सी अपॉइंटेड अनिल कुमार जैन एज द न्यू पी एन जी आर बी चेयरमैन एम ई पॉप ऑफ यू एस ए इलेक्टेड एज द फर्स्ट वीमेन डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ यू एन आई ओ एम आई डी ई एक्स साइन टू फिफ्टी एथ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट फर्स्ट अंडर मिशन डेफ स्पेस एंड हंड्रेड स्प्रिंट नेवी कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इन न्यू डेली वास्ट एंड स्पेस एक्स दे पार्टनर टू लॉन्च द फर्स्ट कमर्शियल स्पेस स्टेशन इन लियो दैट इज लो अर्थ ऑर्बिट अमेरिकन इकनॉमिस्ट एंड नॉबल लॉरेट रॉबर्ट ई लूकास जूनियर पास अवे नेशनल डेंगू डे ऑन सिक्सटीन ऑफ मे एंड सिक्सटीन ऑफ मे ओन लिव यू ऑब्जर्व इंटरनेशनल डे ऑफ लिविंग टूगेदर इन पीस इंटरनेशनल डे ऑफ लाइट एंड ऑल्सो आंध्र प्रदेश हैव लॉन्च द ई चिट्स एप्लीकेशन टू रेगुलेट फंड थ्रू द ऑनलाइन ट्रांजेक्शन एंड हिमाचल प्रदेश चीफ मिनिस्टर लॉन्च हिम केयर स्कीम फॉर द जेल इन मेट्स नेक्स्ट दीज वर योर टूडेज करंट अफेयर्स नाउ लेट्स गो फॉर द रिविजन पार्ट तेलंगानाज वोपाला प्रणीत एज यू कैन सी इन द पिक्चर ही इज सिक्सटीन ईयर्स ऑफ एज ही इज फ्रॉम तेलंगाना एंड ही बिकेम द एटी सेकेंड ग्रांड मास्टर ऑफ इंडिया देन इंटरनेशनल डे ऑफ फैमिलीज इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन फिफ्टीन ऑफ मे मध्य प्रदेश चीफ मिनिस्टर शिवराज सिंह चौहान फ्लैगड ऑफ फोर हंड्रेड सिक्स वेटनरी एम्बुलेंसेज रिसेंटली ए आई मशीन वॉज इंस्टॉल्ड टू असेस द फूड क्वालिटी इन द स्कूल इन विच स्टेट दिस ए आई मशीन वर यूज और इंस्टॉल्ड इट वॉज इन द स्टेट ऑफ महाराष्ट्र राइट देन नेशनल टेक्नोलॉजी सेंटर वॉज ओपन अप वेयर इट वॉज ओपन इन चेन्नई नेशनल टेक्नोलॉजी सेंटर इट वॉज ओपन बाय होम सरबंदना सोनोवाल जी करेक्ट देन विच एडिशन ऑफ एडवांटेज हेल्थ केयर इंडिया ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री वॉज हेल्थ इट वॉज द सिक्स एडिशन ऑफ द एडवांटेज हेल्थ केयर इंडिया ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री हेल्थ वेयर वॉज दिस हेल्थ इट वॉज हेल्थ इन न्यू डेली देन केरला फर्स्ट वंदे भारत एक्सप्रेस वॉज फ्लैगड ऑफ बाय प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी वेयर वॉज द जी ट्वेंटी टूरिज्म एक्सपो आई रिपीट जी ट्वेंटी टूरिज्म एक्सपो हेल्ड इट वॉज हेल्ड इन जयपुर एंड इट वॉज कंडक्टेड बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ टूरिज्म राइट नेक्स्ट इन विच स्टेट और इन विच सिटीज डिड वी ऑब्जर्व द जीरो शेडो डे Zero Shadow Day was observed in Bangalore as well as in Hyderabad. Right? Then Y20 that is your youth 20 pre summit meeting was held in the G20 where it was held in Ladakh. Correct? In which state the third phase of the 5T school transformation was launched it was launched in the state of odisha correct then tell me millets experience center millets experience center has been opened up recently where were they opened up at delhi hart and it was launched by agriculture minister then namo medical education namo medical education and research institute where was this set up silvasa next next tell me if i ask you operation kaveri operation kaveri this operation kaveri was launched in order to bring indians back to india from sudan right similar operation was that operation ganga that was launched to bring indians back to india from Ukraine, right? Then a report was recently released that stated that India was the fourth largest military spender in the world, right? In the yes, and in which year? In twenty twenty two, we are talking about, correct? Then Australia, we know Australia is a part of Quad members. Who are all the part of Quad members? Australia, India, USA, and Japan, these are your quad countries, and they conduct an exercise that is Malabar exercise, 
एंड नाउ इन द मंथ ऑफ मे इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर दैट इज नेक्स्ट ईयर ऑस्ट्रेलिया विल बी होस्टिंग दिस क्वाड थर्ड इन पर्सन क्वाड समिट प्राइम मिनिस्टर हेडेड पैनल अपॉइंटेड कर्नाटका डी जी पी प्रवीण सूद एज द सी बी आई डायरेक्टर नेक्स्ट फोर्थ इंडिया इंडोनेशिया बायोलेटरल नेवी एक्सरसाइज समुद्र शक्ति ट्वेंटी थ्री वॉज हेल्ड एट बताम इंडोनेशिया नेक्स्ट यूनियन मिनिस्टर जितेंद्र सिंह ग्रेस द वेलीडिक्ट्री सेरेमनी ऑफ नेशनल टेक्नोलॉजी वीक एट डेली करेक्ट एंड दिस नेशनल टेक्नोलॉजी वीक वॉज हेल्ड फ्रॉम इलेवन टू फोर्टींथ ऑफ मे सो दीज वर योर रिविजन पार्ट नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द होमवर्क सेक्शन इंडिया साइंड अ मोबिलिटी पैक दैट विल अलाउ फोर्टी टू थाउजेंड इंडियंस टू वर्क विद विच कंट्री विच स्पेस एजेंसी हैज डेवलप द एलॉस सैटेलाइट विच स्टेट लॉन्च द स्टेट रोबोटिक्स फ्रेमवर्क सो दीज आर योर थ्री होमवर्क क्वेश्चन फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द असाइनमेंट ऑल यू हैव टू डू नाउ इज लाइक द वीडियो एंड कमेंट बिलो एंड लेट एस नो वॉट आर योर व्यूज फॉर द सेम If you find this session to be interesting and you have learned something new then do like and comment as this will motivate me to make better content for you that's all for the day thank you and have a nice day that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of course is offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 76773362 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue